Hello chess lovers, I have a very impressive attacking game for you played by Ding Li Ren against Lu Shanglai. The game was played at Chinese Chess Championships 2012. Ding Li Ren started with knight f3 and knight f6 by Lu Shanglai. c4, e6, d4, d5, knight c3. The game is transformed into queen's gambit declined. Three knights variation. D takes c4. Black is going for Vienna variation. e4, bishop b4. Bishop takes c4, knight takes e4. This is a standard theory seen many times. White castles kingside allowing knight takes c3 b takes c3 and bishop e7. Well, if a move like bishop takes c3, then after rook b1, castling kingside queen d3, bishop a5, knight g5, of course, white has a compensation for sacrificed pawns. That's why after b takes c3, black is mainly playing bishop e7. Knight e5, Black castles kingside and queen g4. White is organizing an immediate attack. c5 challenging white center. But it was important to play knight c6. Offer an exchange of knights and get rid of this powerful knight on e5. But instead after queen g4 we see c5 and already this is becoming dangerous. Bishop h6. Threatening checkmate in 1, forcing black to play bishop f6. Bishop d3, rook e8, f4. Opening up the rook's pop. And already there are some very dangerous threats. For example, right now c takes d4 can't be played because white can go for this beautiful tactical shot. Bishop takes h7 check. If king takes h7 then bishop takes g7 sacrificing the second bishop as well in order to unarm black king. If bishop takes g7 then queen h5 check and then queen f7 check and then the rook can join the attack and it's over. This is terrible for black. Let's go back. That's why after f4 we see g6. But of course this g6 move can't stop Ding Liren's aggression. You can pause the video and try to find his next moves. Ready? In this position, Ding Liren went for a very standard sacrifice. Bishop takes g6. White is just trying to rip open black king. F takes g6. And now comes the second piece sacrifice. Knight takes g6. H takes g6. Queen takes g6 check. King h8. Bishop g5. Threatening bishop takes f6. Also opening up the h file for the rook. Black captured on g5. F takes g5. And this time there is a dangerous threat. Rook f7. Rook e7 covering the 7th rank. Queen h6 check. King g8. G6, not allowing any possible rook h7 moves now. White will play rook f3 and then double up the rooks or rook h3. This is going to be crushing. Knight d7, the knight is coming to protect the king. Rook f3, knight f8. Rook f1, threatening to capture on f8. Knight takes g6, getting rid of this powerful pawn on g6, but white now plays rook g3. Rook g7, but after rook takes g6, Lu Shanglai resigned. Well, if rook takes g6, then after queen takes g6, check king h8, rook f7 is winning. Or after rook takes g6, if queen e7, then rook f4. With the idea of intensifying the pressure on g5, if rook takes g6, then queen takes g6 check, queen g7, queen e8 check. This is a forced line and black king soon will get checkmated. What a spectacular attack. A very instructive game, I think. With a precise attack, Ding Liren exposed his opponent's king and under a mating threat made him resign. If you enjoyed this brilliant game, don't forget to give the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. More games are coming. Good luck.